All right, so here we go. Example number one, part C. We still have our two curves. We identified they cross at four and nine. That's not gonna change at all. We've done some test numbers in between. Now, in part C, they want us to revolve this around the horizontal line, y equals 60. Notice, this changes things significantly. Isn't 60 up here above the region? y equals 60 is up here. It's above the region. So what that does, if you think about it, and I know I say that too often, if you think about it, but here's the deal. When we did that test point in the middle, when we tested 5, we're now comparing these values to 60. And you hopefully would agree with me that basically the red and green outside, inside have switched places. And so we need to reflect that because, and again, I want to remind you that I'm considering the green one to be the outside, the one that's farther from the axis of revolution. Again, my color code is green, is going to be outer circle. So when, the, when we tested these numbers, you'd say, well, you know what? 15 is farther away from 60. 15 is farther away from 60 than 23. So, you know what? Hey, curve over here. 15 is farther away from 60. You're going to generate the outside circle now. Your new name is f of x. And so again, on my picture, I'm changing this to be the green one now. Isn't this curve farther away from the axis of revolution? It's below it. It's farther away. All right, and that's what's happening here. And then 23 is closer to 60. So it's going to generate the inside one, which we're calling g of x. So they've traded places. That's the idea. And so now you understand, hopefully, why we're not talking about upper lower. It's all in reference to your axis of revolution. And so this curve now actually generates... When we flip this up and revolve it this way, and you can obviously tell I'm not the world's best artist, but the mirror image of this original region, when it hits the board, as it swings around up there, looks like that. I always put the original solid and then the mirror image dotted somehow. But wouldn't every cross section now be an outside green circle and an inside red circle? Just like before, I'm just trying to be consistent with the green and the red, outer green, inner red. Okay, now, here's another thing that's different about this then. See, when you go, what's the formula for the area of a circle? Pi r squared. So again, we're doing the area of the outside green one minus the area of the inside red one. But here's the deal on this. The outside green one wouldn't the, ax, wouldn't the radius be 60 minus the curve? Yes, 60 minus the curve, because 60 is above the curve. 60 minus the green curve, the outside, x squared minus 4x plus 10. The point of that would be if your axis of revolution is above your curve, the subtraction needs to be in that direction. And so I did my best here to show that, that these could be flip-flopped. I would really prefer to have a double arrow there, but I couldn't find it, but you get the idea. And similarly, won't the inside red one be the same? The radius would be 60 minus red curve for that one. So 60 minus inner curve. So yes, indeed. In this case, since the axis of revolution, generically known as K, is above the region, we'll subtract it in that direction, 60 minus curve. And there you go. So that would be the proper setup. I will accept that. You don't need to simplify it. But again, so you'll get your six points that I owe you if you care to do that. And then if you want to brute force your way through the integral, and do all the algebra that that would entail, and integrate, evaluate, and celebrate, that integral will be 2291.6 repeating. And then remember the times pi, and that'll get you two bonus points. 
You can earn up to 12 extra points on this thing if you feel like sitting down and doing a lot of algebra and cleaning these up and then you know doing the integration and everything. So, so that would be that. And we're about to transition the, the other three parts to this question. You're going to notice that we're going to start revolving it instead of around a horizontal line, we're going to start revolving it around a vertical line. And we'll talk about how that would work. Sounds fun, huh?